Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Sarah. Um, this is a coloring book review flip through for this book right here. Um, it is interpreted loosely, I guess. I found online something like on the other side of sleep, on the other side of your dreams, something something along those lines. Um, Carolina, and I do not know how to pronounce that last name, is right there. That is the illustrator, author. Um, the book, um, dimensions are nine by nine inches. This book came from Poland. I ordered it on Amazon and it took about two and a half weeks to get to me. Um, so if you do order it from Amazon, it will take a little bit of time to get to you. Um, Anyway, this is this is a really cool, different kind of book. Um, I wish that there was an English version because there's a lot of words, as you're going to see in this book, and I have no idea what they say. Um, I'm going to use uh, Google Translate, um, the app, and see if if it will translate some of it for me. Um, just an awesome, awesome book. So let me get started here. Like I said, dimensions are 9 by 9 inches. This is the front of the book. And this is the back of the book. The artwork on the outside is very similar to the artwork on the inside. And I really like that. Sometimes you get a book and um, the artwork on the outside is like one page and the rest of it is not even close to what you see. All of it is going to look like this. Every bit of it. Um, and here's the spine. So... I flipped through this once already um, just to see what it offered. It's an amazing book. So I wanted to share this with you. The spine is glue bound. All of the images are dark um, in color. Um, there's a lot of hatching, a lot of lines, a lot of sprayed ink blots all over. Um, just a lot of different stuff that you're not going to see in other books. And these are the kind of coloring books I like. I like things that are different, that are not um, always flowers and animals. You know, I, I, I like something that's a little bit more creative sometimes. Um, there are a lot of mushrooms in this book, and there are... Um, some people like faces and stuff in here so this would be a good book to practice skin tones and stuff like that like I said all of this is in a different language other than English and I don't speak this language so I don't know how to read it or anything the paper quality in this book is really good it is thick it feels like um, maybe a thinner cardstock kind of paper um, it would be fine for water-based markers, watercolors, um, gel pens, felt-tip pens, colored pencils, crayons, um, anything like that. Alcohol-based markers will bleed through just about anything, um, and this is no different. Um, so I hope that helps you. There's a couple pages in this book that are um, a vertical kind of thing instead of horizontal, which is awesome. It's different, and that's what I like. So let me get through this flip through. Just some really neat imagery in here, and I can't wait to figure out what all the words say. I, I think that's going to be really cool. If you know what the words say, leave me a message uh, down below here. Hello. And um, leave me a comment. Tell me what it says. Here's another vertical one. Let me uh, kind of crack that spine a bit better. As you can see...
And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have lots of coloring book reviews, and I will be getting um, more art supply reviews online very soon. Um, I kind of wanted to get through my coloring books, but I keep getting more in the mail, so <laughs> um, that's kind of why it's um, just coloring books uh, right now. There is not a test page in this book. Um, I know I've said it before on other videos, but I really like it when the illustrator, artist, editor, whoever um, is in charge of doing that leaves a test page for people um, in the back of the book or even in the front of the book. Um, even sometimes I've seen them with like a little star or something done like the artist does their pages. Like for this one, it would be a star with hatch marks and ink all over, you know. Um, to kind of show you how, how your colors are going to lay with the ink on the page as well. Um, and I really appreciate those in the books. It really helps kind of narrow down how you're going to um, color your pages. That is it. So there's the back, and here's the front again. And thank you for watching. Happy coloring.